From Echuca, I'm going to head east towards the coast. On the way, I'll be travelling through Australia's high country, the Snowy Mountains. If you're camping, make sure you check out some of the designated campsites. At the campsite I visited, I was lucky to come across a mob of kangaroos resting from the midday sun. Now remember, these are wild animals, but they seem to show no concern for me or my camera. It surprises a lot of international visitors that Australia has snowfields. All right, the season's short, but it does dispel the myth of Australia is just beaches and outback. I'm on my way to one of my favourite national parks, Mimosa Rocks near Tathra. You can get a campsite right on the beach and sometimes, as I experienced, have the whole place to yourself. It really is a beautiful area. The stopover also gave me a chance to practice my bushcraft skills. I'm always keen to learn more about how the Aborigines view the Aussie landscape. I've been invited to the Umbara Aboriginal Cultural Centre near Bermagui. The centre provides information on the local Aboriginals and also offers tours to their sacred sites. I joined a tour with guide Ronald Tig. Ronald explained to me the importance of the sacred site, Mumbler Mountain. By Amunga, Mumbler Mountain, the law comes from the mountain. This is where all the initiations were done. They put the red ochre on the young boys, took them up along the dreaming track through different endurance stages and that to see if they was fit enough to become men. As they come down back down the track, to they come to the sacred pool. They had the red ochre on them. They go through the sacred pool into the waterfall. As they come off through the other side, they washed oak off and they became men. Some say that this was the proudest moment in a mother's life when you've seen a young boy go off with their elders to go along the dreaming track to become men. There are some places where I can't take you today because they're secret, um, sacred places which we can't videotape. Today we'll be just showing you the waterfall because we can't show you the actual dreaming track itself and all that um, all sacred, secret stuff. Down here in the South Coast is very um, spiritual and we want to bring people together. It's a reconciliation spot and we want to come across and share it with the wider community. Um, show them our culture, where we come from. <laughs> 